Software testing is one of the main streams in the recent past. Testing the system against all odds make the entire process easier. So the market of software testing is mainly dominated by powerful and dynamic tools like Selenium, QTP, Cucumber, Protractor and so on. But the most popular tools among these are Selenium and QTP because of their features and functionalities. Hi all, this is Vaishnavi on behalf of Edureka presenting you the head-to-head -head comparison between the two major automation testing giants and noting down the differences between them. So before we proceed further, let's take a look at the agenda. Okay, so we'll start this session by understanding what is QTP and learn about the automation process that takes place in this tool. And then we'll discuss about another automation testing tool, Selenium, and know its features. And once we're done with that, we'll take a look at the operations carried out by each of these tools and we'll also see the advantages of these tools over each other. And finally, we'll wrap up this session by comparing them based on some parameters. So I hope the agenda was clear to you guys. Now, without any further ado, let's get straight to the module and learn about the first topic. What is QTP? So before we understand what is QTP, let's dig into the history of QTP. QTP is an acronym for Quick Test Professional, which is now called Unified Functional Testing, UFT. Let's see how this happened. QTP was originally written by Mercury Interactive and they called it Quick Test Professional. And this software was later acquired by the Hewlett Packard HP in the year 2006. And later the software was combined with the HP Service Test and it was integrated to a single software package. And this version was available till 2016 until the entire division was sold to Microfocus. So this is all about the history of QTP. Now let's understand what exactly happens in this tool. QTP is basically designed to test various software applications and environment. QTP is mainly used for UI based test case automation, which can even automate non UI test cases as well, such as file operation, database testing and so on. You might ask which programming language should I learn to work on QTP? QTP mainly uses VB script. Most of you might know what is a VB script. VB script is basically an active scripting language which helps in modeling the visual basics. So QTP supports this programming language to run the test cases. QTP also provides functional and regression test automation. By functional testing, I mean the system is tested against the functional requirements or specifications like the technical details, data manipulation and so on. Whereas regression testing refers to the process of testing the application even after modifying the source code. QTP also helps in providing quality assurance to the software under test. So that's it about QTP guys. Now let's understand what is Selenium. I think most of you guys are very familiar with this automation testing tool, but let me give you a clear definition of this tool. So before we get to the technical definition of Selenium, let's take a look at the history of Selenium and see how Selenium came into existence. The name Selenium comes from a joke made by Huggins while writing an email mocking the competitor called Mercury saying that you can cure any mercury poisoning by taking Selenium supplements. Selenium in general is a chemical element. So that's when he introduced the word Selenium in technical terms. So the others who received the mail took the name and started digging deep into it. So that's how the name Selenium came into existence. It was originally developed as an internal tool by the man Jason Huggins in the year 2004 until he was joined by another colleague called Paul Hammond and started the operation of Selenium RC. Correspondingly, in the year 2005, Dan Fabulich and Nelson Sproul made an offer to accept the series of patches that would transform Selenium RC into what it is now known for. While all this was happening, Huggins joined Google in the year 2007 and at the same time, Simon Stott called it Selenium Web Driver. So after all this happened in the year 2009, they decided to merge the two projects and call it as Selenium Web Driver or Selenium 2.0. So this is all about the history of Selenium. Now let's understand the purpose of this tool. Selenium is an automation tool used to test web applications. The growth of software testing increased the demand in the field of Selenium as it is an open source portable framework that helps in automating web applications. This tool is run across different browsers like Chrome, Safari, Opera, Firefox, Explorer and so on 
and it also supports cross browsing which helps in executing the process across multiple platforms simultaneously. You might ask which programming language should I learn or understand to work on Selenium. OK, so the test scripts in Selenium can be written using any programming language like Java, Python, Ruby, C Sharp and so on. But the most commonly used language is Java because of its user friendly behavior. So this is all about Selenium. Now let's understand the benefits of these tools over each other. First, let's talk about the benefits of Selenium over QTP. QTP is licensed and the cost of this tool is very high. It supports only VB script programming language and the test scripts cannot be written in any other languages like Java, Python and so on. So it can run only on the Windows environment and it does not provide support across all browsers. QTP does not support functioning across different IDEs and it works only on the QTP developed IDEs and it also allows only limited add ons to the process. QTP can also execute parallel testing, but only using Quality Center, which is again a paid product of HP. So these are all the advantages of Selenium over QTP. Now let's take a look at the advantages of QTP over Selenium. QTP can test web, mobile and desktop application, whereas Selenium tests only web applications. It has its own inbuilt object repository where all the information regarding the test cases are stored. The rate of automation in QTP is fast compared to that of Selenium. QTP can handle controls within the browser like accessing the favorite bar, access bar, back and forward buttons, etc. It also provides functional user support if the user faces some issues and the test reports are generated automatically, which does not happen in Selenium. So this is all about the benefits of these tools over each other. Now let's take a look at the ultimate face off between these tools. We'll first compare them based on their cost. That is if the tools are licensed or free of cost or if they have any community edition, then we'll compare them based on their flexibility. Check if they can be run across various platforms and then we'll move on to the programming language required to run the test scripts. And after that, we'll look into their ID basis and check if they can work on different ID platforms. And we'll also look into the repository functionality where we get to understand which tool is more efficient. And finally, we'll compare them based on their environment on which they can work on. So let's start comparing them based on their license. Selenium, as you know, is an open source tool and the user does not have to pay for any of the versions of this tool. Whereas QTP is licensed and the user has to pay to get this software on his system. So this is about the license of these tools. Now let's talk about their flexibility. Selenium is highly flexible because the test scripts can be run across different platforms like Chrome, Firefox, Opera and so on and it can test only web applications. Whereas QTP is not very flexible when it comes to executing the test cases across different platforms. It mainly supports Windows and executes the tests there and it can test web, mobile and desktop applications. So this is about their flexibility. Next, it's their programming language required to run the test scripts. Test scripts in Selenium can be written using different programming languages like Java, Python, C Sharp, Ruby and so on. Whereas QTP test scripts are written using VB scripts and it cannot process the system using Java or any other simple programming language. So this is about the programming language required. Now let's talk about their IDE basis. Selenium test scripts can be integrated to run across IDEs like Eclipse, NetBeans, .NET and so on, whereas QTP test scripts work only on the QTP developed IDE. It cannot be integrated to work on Eclipse, NetBeans or any other IDE basis. So let's move on to understand their repository now. Selenium does not have an inbuilt repository as it uses the element in the user interface to test the applications. Whereas QTP has an inbuilt object repository where the test scripts are executed. So this is about the repository. Now we'll finally compare them based on the environment support. Selenium supports all additional plugins alongside the features of it. Whereas QTP supports different environments like SAP, Oracle and so on and it does not support the additional plugins to the software. 
So with this we come to the end of the session on QTP versus Selenium. Both Selenium and QTP are the pillars of software testing and each have their pros and cons. We saw the benefits of Selenium over QTP and we also saw the benefits of QTP over Selenium. So it completely depends on the user who wants to test the application. So this is everything you need to know about QTP versus Selenium. If you want to know more about Selenium WebDriver, don't forget to take a look at the Edureka's YouTube channel and check out Selenium tutorial playlist. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.